Okay, I'm gonna play like... Aye, aye. I'm gonna try to take this in a way that I makes hear sense. Ya. Let's have her there. And then, okay, these are vehicles. We know that much, which is good. Because I can stomp them with uh, Deckard, still have him be useful. So I'm going to use this mountain for cover. And then let them approach. See what happens. Okay, Decker, just reserve your turn. If they all come around this way, that could be kind of cool, actually. Ah, uh, no. Not this guy. Locust. Hi there. Good to go. Good to go. Okay, unfortunately, she can't see him. Good to go. What's up, boss? Uh, if I move here, she could, but I don't like that she's in range. I'm gonna try to work over to that open area. So she has a clearer, like, path. Yeah, see, she can't see anything. All right, let's see what kind of weapons this guy's got. So short range missiles, medium laser, okay. That's all we're gonna know for now. And I think we fire everything we got. However, uh, we have to remember that we might get attacked by that one like special mech they were talking about, right? got very low armor on his torso. That's kind of crazy. 28% here. I'm going to go for it. Boom! Oh, that's so sick. That's cool. I'd say so. And this is great because he could just chill here until these guys get close, and then he's going to run in for the stomps. Galleon. Big whiff. Alright. Receiving you. He might have some problems with this other guy, but... On the move. Unless this guy runs away, we'll just stomp him next. Targeting for physical attack. job, Decker. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. This also means that uh, Glitch is on the wrong side now. Yes, Commander. That's a problem. I'm gonna reserve her turn. Dr. Moran, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad. Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering. But you better hurry up. Sergeant? Talk to me. Okay. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. How do we want to handle this? I think I think we'll use him to stomp here again. He might tank some damage though, but. That'll be two things gone that aren't going to be shooting at us. One for the scrap heap. Ooh, hello. Jenner. Holy frick, and high ground. And structure exposed. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Don't like that. Waiting for orders. Don't like that. Okay, so what do we got going on up here? Uh, very weak armor. 
Which, they did say, like, they were in various states of, like, disrepair or whatever, right? We might be able to kill him. We have enough to, uh, shoot two PPCs, I think. Yep. And we could even call our shot again. We have a ton of morale. If we call the center torso... Um... 6%. We can still hit areas around it. And it's all lightly armored anyway. All weapons are go. Yeah. Not looking too good for him. Not looking too good. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, this will work for me. I can even precision strike again. Might be overkill, but if any of these hit, he's toast. I think we're, I think we got him. Yeah, he's gone. It's probably overkill there, but again, S secures the death. Now my question is, where are the other two? Could be those squads that they were just referring to. to Let's give this guy another target. Uh, we could call again, but now we want to build this up to over 50, right? And we get additional uh, benefits. Our range here is kind of crappy. Hmm. Let's just do the 50-50 shot. Okay, big whiff. But it's a target for him. Reporting negative damage. And he's going to have to make a decision because he's flanked, so... Oh, frick. What's happening in there? Yeah, there we go. There's the backup. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. Yikes! There's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, Quick draw. Do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Tons of armor. Okay, so they got a shadow hawk and quick draw here. This guy's got a whole bunch of weapons, bunch of lasers, long range missiles. This guy's got the AC5, LRM5. Scary. This guy's got like no rear armor though. And I'm wondering, can I break line of sight here? Kinda. I'll do from here. Acknowledged. Maybe I could have went in and just punched him in the back too. That probably would have been just better overall, but either way. Firing. Full compliment on enemy. Structure's exposed, alright. Shadowhawk on Shadowhawk. Oh boy. Oh boy. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, glitch. What, what do you do have? You? Nothing. I'm gonna put you here for now. I won't be able to shoot twice. Received. I could probably shoot one of these. I hope. I can just barely shoot one of them. Uh, if we hit that leg, he's in trouble. Actually, if we hit any of this left side, he's in a lot of trouble. If it hits. No! Huge whiff there. I may need some more time in the simulator. You think? <laughs> I may need some more time in the simulator, she says. Okay, 65s. This guy's just too close, eh? Oh, we actually don't have vision of him. I think we just punch through here. He's actually got quite a bit of structure, though, so, like... Hmm. Let's do it. 
There we go. So one thing there is, like, I'm having trouble figuring out, uh... Like, she had more structure than wh what the melee attack was going to do, I think. So... Like, is that wise? This thing has so much evasion. Frick. I think I'm going to work the flank here. Give us a chance to reduce our heat. He won't get targeted. And I don't know if I... I should have sprinted that, probably. Oh, well. This guy is definitely a problem. Just be cool. Just be cool. You're going to tank all of this. You're going to be fine. Reporting major armor loss. Okay. Maybe not. Morale's up again. See, like, look at this dirty position. What's his armor like back here? Pff, minimal. I could also come in for the punch behind. Is that risky? Like, it is, but these guys... Looks like they're built for, like, longer range attacks. We have short range missile, but... Th see, 30 damage at 95%. I'm gonna see what happens. Engaging. Structure is exposed, as we would expect. They're still firing in front. Don't like that they're firing at glitch, tell you that much. All right. So, like, if we're... This is one of the things that's tough, right? Because if we're working on, like, that... The... The backside... Good to go. Does it really make sense to... To even take a shot from the front? Not really. Okay, I think what I'm going to do with you is actually just... Move you a bit. Make sure that we get out of vision and set you up for an attack on the next turn. Yeah, I think that can work. Okay, with us... We can't, like, jump over this, can we? Oh, frick. We can jump on top. And have really good chances to hit all of them. The heat, though, could be a problem. So maybe we just want to take like a sprint here, set up for the next one. Good to go. And then he's only got 57 armor in his midsection there. Let's see what precision strike is like. 26. Let's give her. Locking in all weapon systems. Looks good. Not bad. Okay, so he sees him. He's like, oh, I see what you're doing, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Frick. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Grim Sybil. Okay, that's... Okay. You think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from Grim Sybil. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. <laughs> that's a big mech. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire, you should be able to take it. Okay. Well, Decker is just crushing this dude. I think we'll continue to focus on crushing. He's got to be feeling it.
Uh, I need to be able to turn. Preferably more than that. Let's see what we can do here first, maybe. Special delivery. Oh, head destroyed. Nice shot. That's sick. That's that's a huge help. Okay, so where is this guy weak? That torso again. It's pretty weak. If I'm able to... This would expose my left side. Which is my most armored side, unfortunately. Everything else is at risk of being crushed. But, that's the side I can expose. And then, if I want... So maybe not with these. That's a big... That's a lot of damage in torso right there. Orders. And then... Frick, where can I get with her, though? I can get right in here, actually. Going full throttle. Get in there. Look at all the armor! So sick. Less so on us, but... <laughs> that's scary, actually. All right, quick draw. She's going for it. Oh, no, left leg, toast. Warning. Knocked down, but not out. Knocked down, that's fine. Warning. Detecting mech warrior Holy injury. moly. So she's all about just, she really wants this melee damage, eh? What's up, boss? Oh, do I just all in on this? Just death from above? gonna hurt, hurt us a bit, but hey, go for it. Oh-ho! Hello. Waiting for order. I don't know if I'm gonna get a shot off here, unfortunately. Let's sprint to get in position go for, for next time. All right. Can I actually not attack her from here? I can't. Let me just... If I do this... 80%... Um, I think melee-wise, we're probably better off. But I could even jump on her, too. Just get extra damage out. Melee, if we hit that midsection, like, that's one thing I'm not 100% sure on. We are hitting from the back. So we're actually would be attacking from the right side here, which she is fully armored on. For some reason, I can't attack from the left. I could... I think I will actually pull back to do this. If I go back even one more, uh, then I can't get in range. Here we go. And then we that unlocks the AC5 attack as well. And with that side being more exposed, I think that's probably better for us overall. And we're actually... It's, oh, we're attacking all rear here. Okay, fair enough. Firing. I'm a bit concerned for us. There, now she realizes she's in for a lot of trouble here. Oh, no! Wow. We survived, though. 
Because what happens with me? I can't do anything. Because I'm down. And they can make called shots when you're down, right? So I just... I can stand. <laughs> this is so cool. Alright. Uh... I mean... Looks like we could hit anywhere, but... How risky is that for us? Fairly. We're missing a leg. So 30s there. 60s if I'm here. I'm gonna do it. We move a lot slower, too. Yeah, this actually, this is going to put us over. Damn. Okay, well, we could fire all the lasers. I'll take it. Uh, let's just keep punching. From here. Targeting that backside again. Totally exposed in the core. Locked on for physical attack. Boom! Left leg down. She's fallen as well, which now we have called shots. Karma's a bitch. I hear ya. I can't get you anywhere close. Waiting for orders. Now, um when I attack here I have to I actually have to turn a bit. Let me see if there's a good spot where I can go for all of these. Yeah, here's good. I think it will automatically give me the called shot. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Well, obviously the, tor the torso. At 40%, this feels pretty good. Not quite yet. Okay, okay. I don't want to overheat. I'm going to fire both of these. And a laser. There it is. That's sick. Oh, that's so cool, man. These missions are great. These missions are great. Okay, now we just need to get here. No sprinting for you, I understand. Look at... <laughs> What's interesting is where it's like left leg is destroyed. It's not... doesn't mean it's like removed. Um, but other impacts are that. quite obvious. Roger that. Got it. And plus now we're taking off in this badass derelict. We definitely... That was tough, though. We took a lot of damage, unfortunately. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Moving to position. Confirmed. Holding. Just the one-legged man. No worries. Standing by. Affirmative. I'm getting there. Resting my neck. Bracing for 
for impact. Is this going to count as being close enough? Yep. It's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now. Celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is going to fly. Mission Sick. successful. That's cool, man. That was really fun. That was really fun. So, lunar areas, bad for heat. Lots of cash, though. I like this. Performance was exemplary. That's nice. A little few problems here, but you know what? Could have been a hell of a lot worse. 22-day injury. We do have to travel anyway, I think, so it's not too bad. A lot of XP for everybody. Now, look at this quick draw salvage. This is something that's very tempting to take. Uh, however, I can only take one piece of it. But like, yeah, stock roll striker cavalry. That's so cool. So if I did take this, it would probably make, make more sense to take that if I had multiple pieces. So I should probably take like the two Shadowhawk pieces and then just like see what happens. Alright, some more jump jets. Oh, and we got the quick draw too. That's actually very lucky. Very nice. Cool. Completing sets of partial something something. Sal mech salvage yields new mechs that can expand your arsenal. Yeah, that quick draw would be dope, but you gotta run into it so many times to get the, the pieces, right? That's awesome. In exile. Oh, here we go. Hello again, Odd. Or should I say Commander Odd? I'm happy to see you again. You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. And you've recovered the Argo. A seemingly impossible feat. One that will pay great dividends for us in the future. I have to admit I was skeptical you'd be able to pull this off. I can't tell you how happy I am to have been proven wrong. <laughs> You'll... You have to forgive me, Lady Arano. This is a hell of a surprise. I'll say forgive me, Lady Arano, but you're supposed to be dead. The news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't our dropship. What you saw was di directorate propaganda. Lies. Lies that very nearly became true. The directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier. In the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us. We've been living in exile ever since. Yeah, I know what that's like. I've been there myself. Where have the two of you been hiding? As far from Directorate space as we could get without leaving the frontier. A miserable little ball of rock called Zathras. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of internal strife and turmoil. There were power struggles and mad nobles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. So you're saying it was like typical frontier word? <laughs> More or less, living on... Uh, Kuromidir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough life outside the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything, Odd. Including me. So... You had Centrella send us half the Argo. Can you tell me why? 
in part as a test of your abilities, to make sure that your performance on Kuromadir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coup has taught us to be careful, Commander Odd. Couldn't just reach out to you on good faith. Fair enough. But the Ar Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship bot, she's a symbol of rec rec reclamation and rebirth and the return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough, she was a majestic vessel once, a true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murad's care, she will be again. Alright, you made it off, Kuromadir, and you found me. Let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back, but I can't do it without you. No problem, Khaleesi. We have resources, an army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money. A great deal of money. <laughs> Magistry's bankrolling you? Unofficially, yes. Using Lady Centrella as an intermediary, the Magistry sees Kemia's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate dealt with, but they can't do it themselves. They need to keep their own hands clean. The Rimworld Periphery is a powder keg, Odd. Tensions between the Torian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as provocation by either side. If open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistry wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. So Torian Concordat is one of the largest periphery states located Rimward of Terra. Uh, they're wealthy, well-educated, and well-armed. Torians defend their independence fiercely against inner sphere aggression, particularly by the Federated Sons. Federated Sons, one of the five successor states, located rimward and spinward of Terra, ruled by House Davion. Federation is quite capable of ruthless, decisive action, though, and its idealism readily gives way to pragmatism when called for. Okay. And your house central is best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the directorate from the board, and the magistry lets tensions between the Federated Sons and the Torians uh, simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Lady Arano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliviera. But understand that this isn't just about defusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The founding council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue a reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. Join with me, Odd, and we will not fail. I am 100% down. Let's go make Mastiff Montgomery proud. You would be. In truth, I feel he's smiling down on us even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make. But it won't be long before I contact you again, and when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Odd. Our war is about to begin. Now, we can travel to more systems, but we should still steer clear of the major states. Good news, Commander. Once Doc Murad and her crew got that wrecked ship safely away, they found most of the Centurion in its cargo hold. The mech is junk, but with a little love and attention, I think I can return it to service. Swing by the mech bay to check it out. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. It's cool. New mech. A sturdy and reliable mech, the Centurion is good at both taking and giving a beating. The CN9A models are able to engage at any range, but their damage curve increases as they approach a target. Okay, I'm in. We're going to need some mech repairs for our next contract boss. Can't go into combat like this. See me in the mech bay when you're ready. Okay, cool. Uh, let's check it out. So the CN9... 50 ton mech. Uh, let me check it out. All that we have on there is a laser. Right? We just have one medium laser. Brawler and general assault. Sturdy, reliable mech. The Centurion is good at both taking and giving a beating. Okay, it's just exactly as we read. So this is just about getting in there and beating things down. Am I right? Or am I right? Do I need to equip, like, uh... So, okay. MG small lasers, LRM. Like, what? This is where I get a, a little bit lost, I guess. Stock configuration. Okay, I see. Here we go. So, AC. So, it's a big ass heavy thing. AC 10, AC 10 ammo, LRM 10, LRM 10 ammo. Okay. Let me see if I have any AC 10 or LRM 10. I do have the LRM 10. And it was suggesting to put this on the left torso, which I guess, like, whatever, wherever we put it doesn't really matter. Put the ammo there. Uh, I don't think we have the other thing, though. The AC-10? Oh, I... 
don't. No, I have AC5, which I'll put. We'll, we'll put some ammo in here. Um, now, you notice how it's got double ammo? Like, is that a thing that we can do if we have enough? Like, we have to have duplicates of it, right? I think so. Uh, medium laser in the center torso times two. We could do this. And then if we want, we can even do... Um, we, we have this for, like, as we're closing in. But then really what we want to do is get it in, like punch, right? But is there anything I can do to... Weapons loaded on this mech do not have ammunition? LRM... Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think I realized my mistake here. LRM ammo. Ah, gotcha. So I do have dual LRM 10s if I want it. Instead of going this AC-10, I could go dual um, LRMs. Or can I? Oh, what is this? What did this just show there? There was something that showed down there about LRM. So what if I put dual? Would that be good or is that too crazy? Because I can't seem to like split it for whatever reason. I don't know if this tells me why. Uh, hold on. Long range missile launcher, tonnage five, slots two. Fairly low damage, balanced by low heat and ammunition consumption. Like all LRMs, capable of indirect fire over obstacles. Is this crazy to have two? Probably. I think I'll, I'll get rid of that, but I would love to hear some opinions on how to build that out. For now, I think I'll just stick pretty close to what they have. Look at this AC-20. Not gonna happen. Uh, AC-5 ammo. And I think we could just, like, tank up with the rest. What if I threw three lasers in the middle? I can't. So can you only... I guess I need to understand why that is. Oh! Oh, I see. It's based on these, uh... These, uh, hard points. So I can have, like, three over here. This, I have, uh... Hold on, let's see, as an example. Because I already have two lasers here, right? So that's, like, telling me that I'm maxed. But what if I were to pick, like... Not ammo. I have LRM hard points there, but I don't have any there. That's why. So the question is, is can you modify hard points as well? Like, can I say, I want to put stuff on the right torso? Like, that I don't, I don't 100% understand. However, uh, let's max out our armor here. As much as we can. Because if we're just going to be running in, ideally, we're going to be running in. We're going to have stuff that we can do along the way. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that can work. Uh, we should probably load up some heat efficiency or some heat sinking stuff here. And maybe some jump jets even. I'm going to go over the weight here. Um, but I can back off some of the torso armor. And maybe even some of this armor here. What if I... Okay, there. That's probably an easier way to just get it done fast. And then I can, like, redistribute. It's probably easier. Okay, 96, drop that, and I think we're good. I don't know if that's, like, ideal. Um, we have to add all these heat sinks for the sake of the jump jets. I might actually reconsider that. Keep, like, two of these. 
and then just boost our armor instead. I think early on, like, for somebody like me, where I'm, like, learning this stuff, I think more armor is probably beneficial. This might be, like, not even enough weaponry. That's the other thing. But I think that that's going to have to do. This is going to take a while to build. That's okay. 24 days. That's fine. It's a brand new mech and it had nothing on it. So let's give her. I'm interested. To, I'm really interested to hear opinions about how that Dog was no. handled. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so let's go refit in here. Uh, let's repair all. And then uh, I think everything else is fine. Just get the repairs done. I kind of like how we handled right. I'll get it using kit. that uh, that mech. All right, we need to fully replace this. These jump jets are coming off, which means I probably need to put two more on, I think. If I'm reading that correctly. Uh, I think I'm also gonna try to balance out the heat efficiency a little bit more. Um, I think something like that's okay. I think that works. Kind of like a jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing, which, you know, is like, not that great. I think if there was a mech oh. I was going to sideline, it'd probably I'll be the blackjack in, in favor of this CN9, actually. Um, and then the Vindicator, we gotta, we gotta fix this, we gotta have to fix this problem that we have with the heat. Um, the double PPC, I still wanna, I still wanna fully test it. I still want to test it. Um, I don't have enough heat sinks to do it. Let me see how much heat sinks cost if we were to go and buy some. from the store. Um, they're probably cheap, if I had to guess. Ooh, not really. New equipment I'm gonna buy, available. like, four of them. Hey, Commander. Mostly just because I want to, I want to try this, like, double PPC build, uh, like, as a sniper. You know? And I'm probably just trying to force something that's not ideal, but just for the sake of my own uh, experimentation. Okay, so let's go heat sinks here. Just like massive amounts of heat sink. We can put one in the middle. And then uh, we'll go max armor here. And you can see, like, we are very fragile. So fragile, but if we can, if we can make this work, I don't, I I know it's not a great build. I'm just I'm just curious. I'm just trying. Um, gotta worry too. Like if these get hit, these go down, right? So it's a bit problematic. Yeah, let's get these back up slightly. Something like this. I'm going to try it. I just want to be able to fire off these PPCs like every turn. Um, this is very, very glass cannon, but I am just going to try to play it accordingly. All right. Logged and, and as I mentioned about a hundred times, the biome did not help either. So. All right. We got contracts. Um... So, we've got the desert biome. We've got lowlands here. Provide cover, stability, rolling hills, gentle slopes. 
I think we could probably do this. Plus, it's nice because we have the travel time. Uh, it's 22 days. So we actually have... Holy frick, man. The blackjack's going to take forever. Vindicator, same thing. Oh, I think I screwed up there. I don't think that's good at all. We could take a fight with the spider and the centurion. Let's hit our financial report. Get the uh, get the spider to 22 days, and then we'll take the contract. In the morning briefing, Yang jumps right in. Commander, Leopard's too small. My mech techs keep tripping over everything. Chief, we've talked about this. We can't exactly knock down any walls. Smyer inserts herself. Uh, what if we move some supplies into other parts of the Leopard? The bunk, the kitchen. Hell, I'll even store some boxes in the cockpit if it helps. Uh... This could impact morale, no? If things are, like, too cluttered. We'll move some. Over the next several days, everyone helps move the least critical mech-based supplies to the other parts of the Leopard. But emotions get heated over the next week. Behemoth gets particularly upset when she trips over an unexpected box of tools. Before long, Yang and his technicians reclaim their supplies. His mood, at least, is much better than everyone else's. When you arrive in the mech bay, he's grimly satisfied with the amount of reorganization he managed in a short period of time. So we get an extra tech point boost for 14 days. Spent to repair or customize battle mechs. Tech points only apply to one mech task at a time, so additional tasks are queued to be worked on next. That's right. Behemoth has gained the following tags for 30 days. Low spirits. Pilot's low morale and will not be able to use inspiration abilities as often. Okay. Okay. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. All right, not bad. Could be worse. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep morale where it is. So, 22 days, um... Yeah, I think we go there now. We take the contract. So, that's one thing I'm gonna really have to focus on is those repair times, man. That's, that's crazy. Let's, um... We're sitting on a larger amount of funds right now. So, I'm actually tempted to do something like this. Where we can choose two pieces here. Calculating course now, Commander. All right. Let's cruise. We need to at least wait till I was back. Um, we do have other pilots, but, you know, it's... I feel like, as the commander, we should probably be out there. <laughs> this is so soothing, the way that we travel around. So the way I'm going to do this is every time we have a priority mission, I'm going to take it. Um, and I hope that that will be the balance that um, Hairbrain Schemes has recommended. It's been a long week and I know you can make... I can't make more hours in a day, but I can make more coffee. When you enter the cramped galley, you find Decker and Medusa in a tent standoff in front of a nearly empty coffee pot. Decker sees you. Commander, this is the last of the coffee. The Exo says we won't have any more until the next supply run. Medusa shoves his way forward. I got here first and he almost stole it while, it was, while I was looking for my favorite mug. Uh, give it to Sumire, take it for myself, or split it. Split it. Exasperated, you squeeze your way past them into the galley and take two cups. Pouring the coffee equally into both, you say, If you can't act like adults, we'll have to resolve this like your children. You had one cup to Decker and one to Medusa. Drink up. Next time I send you planet side, I expect you to make every single shot. And they leave Sumire's size as he stares in the empty pot. They better have been worth it. Now excuse me while I go discuss the shopping priorities with Darius. So high spirits for 30 days. Uh, be able to use inspiration abilities more often in battle. Cool. I like that stuff. Now, one thing I'm interested in is, is it always going to be the same thing uh, every time? Um, yeah, that's one thing I'm not sure about. So, like, okay. So, I think what, what, what I did with the mechs is, like, I did that big, that big job on that new mech, which took a long time. And then these ones, I, they don't get worked on concurrently, my understanding, right? They do one mech, then go to the other, then go to the other. So what I should be doing is like, 
prioritize the mechs that I need. So like the Blackjack, the Vindicator, I should have done those first. Then do the other one where that's just like it's working on after all the priority stuff is done. That's what I think. Uh, let's go into the Mech Warrior Bay. I could also look at... Um, can't I like hire people in here or something? Where do I do that? Customized company hiring hall. Let's actually just take a look and see who's out there. Um, GV Paladin. So what does this little KS mean? Oh, Kickstarter backer. Oh, cool. This mech warrior is a Kickstarter backer who supported Battletech at the mercenary mecho commander level or above. And somebody got to make their own thing. I'm here. That's dope. I like that. I like that a Standing lot. By. It only works for you if you have an MRB rating of regular or higher. I await your command. So this is the only guy I could hire. Yes, Commander. I'm ready. Huh. Interesting. Defender. All right. I don't think we need anybody at this exact moment. Let's upgrade some of our current dudes, though. All right. So we're sitting on 2,100 XP. Um, bulwark is not really that good for me, I don't think. Uh, evasive movement's not bad. Breaching shot. Attacks with a single weapon. Ignore cover and guard it on the target. It's not bad. Sensor lock. It's not bad. Mech's pilot by this mech mortar game. Plus one initiative. Remove one bar of stability damage when reserving. It's a really tough call. I mean, I guess you could argue that Bulwark is good on anybody. We do tend to use um, the Blackjack kind of like uh, not super mobile, you know. But I think what I'm going to do is actually just... I don't know. If we just keep going like jack-of-all-trades approach, it's not that great. Maybe we should try and get somebody with uh, Sensor Lock. I think we I have that somewhere. Low Spirits for six days... See, and like piloting, generating this extra evasion is not that good because we've got bulwark, which kind of like contradicts that a little bit, you know? So I think we'll grab gunnery here. Training complete. Yes, Commander. Uh, we have 2,800 XP. I think we just focus on like full piloting for him. Plus with the melee approach, piloting is what gover governs that, right? Yeah, 15% base melee hit. Training confirmed, Commander. Glitch. On you, Commander. We pretty much want gunnery, like, non-stop. So I'm going to hold this. Orders. Medusa, you need some love for sure. All right. Also, these service records are pretty cool. You can track, like, everything that they've done. Number of kills. Wait. Really? Mech kill zero. Other kill zero. What's up? Orders. All right. Maybe it's not working correctly. Because, <laughs> like, these guys definitely have kills. I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyways, whatever. Okay, let's back out of here. I think we're, uh, I think we're ready. So, I'll take the break here, and then, uh, when we come back, we're gonna go on this, this mission. We're gonna launch our contract, and, uh, we'll have to take out, like, the, well, not the Blackjack, not the Vindicator, obviously. And we'll just make do. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're having fun. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care. Bye.